everyone, I'm Shannon Morse from Signal by Sony, and I'm here at CES 2016 with Phil from Home Entertainment, the TV team. How are you? I'm good, how are you? It's Another good to see great you again. Year. Exactly. Yeah, it's been a while. Yes. So I noticed that you guys have a new concept going on at the booth this year. You've got this this 4K HDR or yes. Sony's what is this, Sony's representation? Well, no manufacturer is more involved in HDR than Sony. Oh. So we wanted to come up with a new logo to really stress how strong we are with this particular technology and how you can get more from a Sony HDR TV than anybody else. Well, I think we should explain what HDR is since it's still very new in the market. HDR stands for high dynamic range. And normally when you think of dynamic range, it, people think about brightness only. But actually, it's more to it. What you see is not really a more brightness. You mostly see richer, more intense colors right. because you get this. You get more color volume. Volume. Okay. Can you can you explain this for me on like a high scale? <laughs> well, well, let's. Well, a lot of times when you see color, they always show you this little triangle on a graph. Oh yeah, I've seen those. And if the color Ferrari red fits in the triangle, the TV can reproduce it. Right. But in the real world, you have a Ferrari in the dark and you have Ferrari in the sun. Right. It's actually a three-dimensional. So yeah, so you have the base, which is what the color is, mm -hmm. and then a height, which determines the brightness of that color. Okay, and then HDR is a bigger base of colors? It's, it's, it's two things. The first thing is the base is bigger. Okay. So you get, a, you get more colors to select from, and you get more levels or brightness levels of that color. So you go from a little box of colors to this huge cube of colors. And that's what you see more than bright dots. You see richer neon, gold shimmers more. It yeah. looks more like the real world. And this year for 2016, are you introducing any kind of new concepts? Yes, well the first thing is, we've been talking about Trilumis for a while. But yes. Triluminous continues to evolve as well. So now by using better processing, we can extract even more okay. from the panel. We actually add those last blues and greens that weren't there last year. And what about blacks? Are those still gonna be dark? The black's gonna be incredibly dark. The one behind you here, um, the TV behind you here, our wow, hero product, <laughs> which is called the X930D. Available the X930D, in, okay. Yeah, available in 55, 65, 75. Cool. This one's really slim, but it looks like it has a great contrast. We developed a new system, a we call it a grid array backlighting system that allows us to have an incredibly thin TV and still give you the great contrast you would expect on a premium set. Before we started recording this, I was able to get a chance to walk behind the TV and it's so clean. It's like there's no cables back there. <laughs> How yeah. did you do this? We developed a new cable management system to route all the wires behind these nice covers so the back is as clean as the front. It's very stylish. Nice. So I also noticed that this one's incredibly slim, but how does it compare to last year's model, which you basically compared to a pencil? This TV, when it's hung, is less than an inch and a half from the wall, so about that about that thick. Well, last year's was only a quarter? Yes, it, the, 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 the thinnest part was only a quarter, but because of you, have, you have all of your inputs and power supplies oh. and stuff, it would go thin and you'd have this little bump out. Gotcha. Now the TV as a whole is actually thinner. It's so, so at the thinner. thinnest point, it's not as thin. But when you hang it on the wall, it actually sinks into the wall even more. So I also noticed that we have just one remote over here. Yes, so the new remote <laughs> control <ring. laughs> has all of your full controls as well as your voice microphones. But I'm assuming that you can still use an app for iOS or Android with the TV as well? Yes. Is this going to be Marshmallow? Because I know last year's models were an older version of Android. So we're gonna be using the latest um, Android operating system, which is Marshmallow. Hey. And what about if I have an older model? The older TVs from 2015 will also be upgraded to Marshmallow as well. Cool. When is this going to be available and this, can you talk about price? This time, um, yeah. price is to be announced. Ooh, I can't wait to see it on the market. This is very exciting. So I heard around the block that I'm not allowed to take pictures. Is, is there a secret here at the booth? Yes, we're showing a new backlight system that is, that is revolutionary and offers up to 4,000 nits of brightness. Wait, did I hear that correctly? Did you say 4,000? Yes. Um, Just so you guys know, 800 nits is pretty normal for most of the high-end TVs on the market, so 4,000 is kind of better. It's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Am I allowed to ask how you're doing that? Yes, you can. We talk about the fact that the more zones you have, the more I can redirect the power from the zones that are turned off to areas on the screen that are bright. 
because this TV has significantly more, which mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many <laughs> zones than any other TV that's ever been made, we, have a, we can do a more efficient power management and we can get a level of brightness that is unsurpassed while still giving you OLED-like black levels. Thank you so much, Phil, for chatting with me about the new X930D. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always hashtag Sony CES, and you can check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash signal. Phil, thank you so much again for joining us. Oh, it's a pleasure. Absolutely, it's always a pleasure for me too. Take care. <laughs> I'm Shannon Morse, and I'll see you next time.